Local 6's Callie Stone spoke to two local businesses today. So, Callie, what are they planning? Ariana, they're doing everything from upping the number of staff members to buying more supplies. I spoke with Ryan Summers at Pizza Inn today. He says they're planning on being busy all weekend. Local restaurants like Pizza Inn and Paducah are bustling, and general manager Ryan Summers says they expect it to stay that way. Yeah, we got a little extra help scheduled over the weekend so that we can serve people a whole lot faster and make sure that we're getting everybody like we should. Uh, then, of course, we've had to order extra product, too, to make sure that, you know, we have enough food for everybody. The Eclipse will bring in lots of people to the area, much like in 2017. Summer says they plan to let everyone enjoy the summer event. This happened, you know, several years ago was, and we all took a break outside for a moment, which the guests were not with us, too, so everybody had a few moments to enjoy the totality and then come back inside and get back to work. And in Metropolis, Sissy's Sweet Shop is already gearing up for their plans for the Eclipse. Sissy's is doubling staff, and co-owners Alex and Josh Jones say they're even expanding hours. Typically, we're not even open on Sunday, so we're opening special for this event. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're staffed to the gills. <laughs> they're adding a few new items to their menu to celebrate, too. We're going to make some special treats. We're going to have uh, moon pies. We're going to have cosmic brownies, special sugar cookies that are like sunglasses and sunshine, you know. Alex says they're already seeing an increase in travelers coming through Metropolis. Ariana? Callie thinks Summer says he's happy to see the eclipse is going to bring in such